Hello. Welcome. Hi. To yet another edition of the Mega 64 Quarantine. Ugh. It ain't over yet. But it's going to be over so soon. This no. Is probably, it's no, been no. over. You're over it. It just depends on who you listen no. to in the media. Wrong. Uh, it ain't over. It's mm. not going to be over soon. And it hasn't been over. Oh. No. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah. What? You're going to hide from a cold? It's it's worse than the fucking cold. I still see like one tweet a day that's like that. <laughs> I mean, would you do this for the cold? It's not yeah, the same yeah. as the cold. It could be. I'm scared. Anyway, welcome everybody. Welcome. Mega sixty fourteen. We hadn't done one of these in the past couple of years. Couple yeah, of years, couple of weeks. Yeah, because no, because yeah. they said this was over, they and so over. we said good. Some Have, guy in the alley yeah. gave me a shot of something. Hap he said this was the vaccine, so I think I'm fine. Happy yeah, to be done fine. with it. Frankly, Tested. had my share. Mm. But guess what? What? It's not fucking over. Mm. Ah! Welcome. This is me and all the disappointed people. They're looking for a cure there. They're, yeah, that's where they're going to find it. <laughs> they're looking to you. <laughs> in a random pit in India. Well, actually, crazier things have happened. You never know. You never know. Did we look there? Wouldn't it be funny if they found a cure? It was the most innocuous, weird thing. Like, dude, sourdough bread. That, everyone well, made I that think we would have figured that out by now. I think, yeah. I think you've got to, like, battle with an adjacent, like, a different bat species. It would be something that nobody has tried the entire quarantine so far. I mean, it would be like so green far. beans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Green beans. Green, green, yeah, it was yeah. green beans the whole time. I go to the store even when the quarantine happened, and everything's sold out. Toilet paper. Right. You know, the prospects of my ass are not looking good, but ah, there's always a shelf of green beans. Mm. The one standby. Green beans, if things got really bad, like continued to become apocalyptic, green beans would become the new currency because they're so prevalent no matter what. Tasty. The, people are saying uh, analingus causes what? it. What? Oh, you well, could get it. Oh, wow. What? So maybe the reverse would cure it. Cunnilingus. Hold on. Yeah. Analingus causes COVID. Well, it doesn't cause it, but you can get it. You can, all right. It lowers your immune system. Okay. Show me the doctor who did that study. Oh. I'm afraid to ask. Uh, excuse me, ma'am uh, or sir, whoever your patient may be. Oh, I see you have uh, COVID. Of. We're interested in studying new ways of transmission. Ew. If you don't mind, we'll just. Oh. oh my God in heaven. You know, the ass eating doctor. Who's that doctor who likes to eat ass? It was probably Ryan. that guy. Dr. Um, Dre. It was probably, uh, it was probably <laughs> that guy. Now that Drew, I think about I it, it's not so that. crazy. Phil. It's, yeah, Dr. Phil. It was probably yeah, Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil. No, I tell you, I have been eating ass <laughs> this whole month. And, and I, I am not, riddled with COVID. And I've been feeling <coughs> fine. <laughs> Bam, I'm telling you, you'll die for your son, but will you live for him? Question, and I have an important question, and maybe the doctors in the chat can answer this for me. When we're talking analingus transmission of COVID, yeah. is that you're farting into my face and I'm getting a respiratory disease, or I'm coughing into your ass? And you're yeah, getting it. Who's getting it? Which way you is have it going? It's a mucous if you membrane. have it in your body, it can transmit it goes that both way. Both ways, baby. Oh my god! You it's, can get uh, COVID from somebody coughing in your asshole. Yeah, it <laughs> Welcome the to 2020, people. Theme song. As the Earth is carbon bombed by poisons, I keep it safe. I keep it clean. I keep it here inside. With Mega 64 and T. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. So you nice. mean I nice. can I can't eat I can't eat ass, but I can see Tenant. Wow. Can you see? I keep seeing people talk about Tenant. Where, yeah. where are you watching Tenant? The movie select, theater. Select theaters. What movie theater? Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, I legit. I'm on Facebook, everybody. I'm the old oh, guy. Uh, you are? And frankly, I love it. It's my favorite social media. And I saw a friend. I'm not going to out him, but we all know this guy, what? young guy, legit asking, does anybody know of any movie theaters that are open right now? I really want to go okay. see a movie. 
I saw that as well. <laughs> oh, so this is saw that post. Know? Oh, so <laughs> we'll narrow it down. Johnny knows him too. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's open and it's going to show tenant and it's a drive-in. A drive? Is really? Is over here is going to do it? Yeah. Oh. Really? Oh. I want to go to that. Yeah. Now that's... I, because I want to see it. I want to see that as soon as possible. I don't want people talking to me about it. I want to see it. But I don't want to sit in the theater. Um, people asking, no, this was not a troll pose. This was serious. And this person didn't want to see Tenant. Do you know what they wanted to see? Bill and Ted's bogus fucking three. Th th yes! Prequel. No! <laughs> are, I, are they even playing Sorry, that? I, didn't, I thought that was only VOD. I think I've narrowed it down more. No, he, uh, this person was saying, is there a movie theater open? I really want to go see a movie. They're like, what would you like to see? He's like, honestly, I want to see the new Bill and Ted. <laughs> and it was like, what? I don't. It was, it almost, and you know what? This hey, person, I respect usually. Uh oh. And it almost made me question my own sanity. Like, for a second, I was like, wait, are movie theaters open? This person wouldn't yeah. be, does this person know something I don't? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But then I, you know, well, you have to, I, I have to dying, stick to my guns. To, to I, I each know person can go their own way. I have been hearing from a lot of people though that have just been casually saying, "Yeah, I got tickets to Tenant. Yeah, I've got uh this. Yeah, I'm yeah, I got my tickets. I'm going." And it's like, "What? Wh are they just opening in other places?" Well, what was that I don't, story? We're, we're in California. None of that is. I heard open. that AMC theaters was going to be charging fifteen cents a ticket, but I, I never heard the follow up to that. That was like two weeks ago. Yeah. Fifteen cents a ticket. Yeah, that story was all over the news and all these headlines. What? AMC fifteen cents a ticket. Like that doesn't make sense. Why even though? bother? Yeah. I Could guess that's just dollars. enough money to cover their legal bills from when everyone <laughs> sues them for COVID <laughs> infection. But so that was the headline I heard. And then I never heard yeah. of anyone actually doing it or, oh, yeah. yeah, this AMC's open. Go do it. In fact, I went to um, a mall uh, and the AMC theater there was closed. So. Yeah, they're all, I mean, every theater is closed right now. Yeah. By the here. way, who else have, have you guys gone to a mall? Yeah, yeah. I went to one yesterday. I mean, I went to a. No. I went to the the one that's the outdoor mall that's you know down the street. Yeah, so like, I didn't go to the mall to go to the mall. It's an outdoor there. mall. It was a line to get into every single store. Oh, oh Forever Twenty One, the Lego oh, store, oh my God. Starbucks, whatever it was. Yeah. It was like every bad part of Disneyland. Like all the lines, <laughs> all the shopping, none of the roller coasters, yeah. and it was fucking hot too. Yeah, Ooh. malls are a. Uh, and they're packed. I don't understand. Malls are not a good the time mall right that now. I was at yesterday. I was there to go to Target, but it was empty. It was a ghost town oh. besides the Target. The know. Lego store had a line out the door. Everybody was there to well, get uh, that new Nintendo system. Yes, the oh. new Nintendo Legos. Okay. I got to Okay, I've been wanting to bring that up. I keep forgetting to bring it up on uh -oh. the podcast. Well, let's Here talk about we it go. now. Here we go. Here's your chance. This is a product I don't get. I don't understand. They always do. We are. Okay. We all know Lego. Legos are expensive. Yes. Yeah. Those they are. are. They're more, collectible more so items. Than they should be. Yeah. They're collectible. They are ridiculously. Expensive. They are expensive toys. And yeah. the idea that anybody would spend hundreds of dollars on pieces of plastic. Uh, go on, Rocco. <laughs> Wait a um. I'm just, I'm just well, kidding. I'm just fucking with you. I was you. gonna. Um, oh my god. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, if I I was gonna bring up, I I backed the. Sentinel, the X Men. Oh Sentinel. yeah! Don't um, <laughs> scrap that. When I get to it, cut it uh, out. Okay, you got um, it. Uh, no, but I no, I'm not. I'm not dissing that at all. I know. I know. Uh, but yeah, Legos, I'm, the Nintendo I'm, Legos. Let's talk. I'm about not a it. Lego. I'm not a there. Lego nut. Yeah. But you know, they do these big. They, they did like the Ghostbusters uh, fire station. Yeah. They did the Millennium Falcon, all that stuff. That is like too much for me. But people are really into it. I can't believe how expensive those sets are. That yeah. kind of blows my mind. But hey, if you're into it, cool. I don't get the NES. I know it's a Nintendo thing, and like they're, Nintendo's doing the 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 little Lego Mario, and it's got like electronic bits in it or whatever. Like that, the playset LED sounds cool. eyes and stuff. Whoa, that's kind of cool. But the NES is like pushing three hundred bucks. Right. Damn. Get, get a Switch. Get the system. <laughs> was yeah. was the system that much? You could like, eBay an NES for like under three hundred easy. The firehouse, I get it. The Millennium Falcon, I get it. These are detailed environments that you create with blocks. The yeah. NES is a box. It's it's not even the Nintendo. But then you you can, can go buy the Nintendo. But then you play it, Rocco. The TV. You don't you crank you, it. You spin a crank in Mario Move. Uh huh. I could just plug the Nintendo in and 
make Mario move with a control. I don't. You can't do it. Know. Know. Can Something anybody isn't. here answer? Is this a limited time thing? Is this a special edition? I don't. I don't know. Is this collectible know. or is this just? I'm, I mean, I think I feel like they all are, but maybe I'm wrong. Is this or is this like just going to be on sale from now on? Because if don't that's know. a collectible thing, then obviously people are going to scramble to get it. Yeah. But if this is just on sale, like from you know. Yeah. For the next four or five I, years, then yeah, I'm oh, with you. Really Buy a limited. Nintendo. It's really limited, supposedly. Okay. okay. All right. But well. I don't. I'm not saying like I have a correct opinion or thought here, but for some reason, it's making my brain boil. Sticks in it's your like, craw. It's like it's like 250 or 300, whatever. Just get in my mind. This is the same as doing a Lego VCR. <laughs> like what? Wh wow. No, why? Go I'll just buy a VCR. But I would rather make a vehicle or a cool structure. I don't understand the consumer home electronic device. I, I don't get it. Get it more than the X Men Sentinel. That mm. makes more sense to me than that. What? Well, I'm not. Why? I'm not here to call people out. How? I'm not calling no, no, no. Out. I want to hear this. I'm not calling How? you out. I'm, I'm just not. saying. I understand if I if it was. Wait a minute. Okay. If, All right. Let's review the X Men Sentinel for people who don't know. Can we get a description on that and? An, I don't we, know how much we never that was. confirmed a price on it. I don't either. know, but I'm just well, gonna, gentlemen, do not discuss price. I'm just, yeah. Sure, I'm Johnny just gonna say they're the same anyway. price. I don't know that that's true. Sure, I'm gonna say it for sure. Right, yeah, well, yeah, let's. I the X Men Sentinel is at least three Equal. times as much. For me, less? the X Men no. Sentinel, you get it. You what? You put it there and look at it. Whereas the Lego thing, at least I'm building it and like I'm, I'm spending time on it and this thing I'm making and then I, you know, put it. Then I put it there. Yeah. But for three hundred bucks. Just to have a thing that does nothing but stand there, I want to at least do something with it before I make it stand there. Okay. That's the point. Now, counterpoint from Rocco. Th okay. First of all, I don't have the time to build my stuff. He's a busy man. Okay. Why? Fair Just, enough. You can detail it. You can. You don't. You're not going to get that kind of detail from Legos. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. It's fun to build them for other. Not. I don't enjoy it, but it is a fun activity for people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. The Sentinel is like this big. It's going to be so huge. It's scale. And it to comes the with Marvel. all the tentacles that can hold. It's to scale with the other X Men. Yeah. Okay. So it can hold Wolverine. Wait, how, and it how can big hold. is it? What What's the that? fuck? It can hold how Wolverine, like, Derek. Like from the ground to like right here. It's huge. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Derek, uh, you're not shut even the ready. Fuck. I never want to see this thing. Oh, dude, it's going to be like. I'm putting it here, so you're, scanning, you're seeing it. Scanning, mutant. Is it bigger detected. than the Vader? <sighs> What's that? Is it bigger than the Vader? Oh, Sounds like probably. it. What's the uh, I don't know. They might be initiated. I'm not sure. Is yeah. it wider? It sounds. I'm see. I'm hearing tentacles. Dude, it comes with two heads. It's oh, got tentacles. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. They, they got Excuse so me. many backers yeah. that every few thousand backers, people That's who sad. funded it, yeah, they added sad. more heads, Give and it's got at least three or four heads. Now. Wow. Dang. Yeah. Damaged so, head. Anyways, yeah. it's just me. If you gave me that money and said, Sean, you have to buy one of these, I would go with the Nintendo. Yeah, I thing. would take the Nintendo as well. I think. Small Hell footprint. No. Um. Yeah. Minimalist. I'm with you, Rocco. Right. You know, probably you. as a as a sense of serenity and uh, you know calmness, the Sentinel sounds opulent. It sounds overdone. That's what mm -hmm. I'm about. It sounds you I'm know about. consumerist a little bit. So it sounds very way more expensive what? than the Legos. These two words that mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what you're. I, you, I didn't sounds, even hear what you said. It's probably something stupid. Uh, sounds, <laughs> it sounds uh, legitimately. It. But I think it's got to be like, like five hundred bucks. I. Totally, if you want to look at the NES, that's fine. I just don't see what I what my brain doesn't get is why that just buy an NES. I don't like Lego Lego uh, Mansion, Lego uh, Millennium Falcon. These are like things that have like a lot of I don't know. Uh, it's something you could never have in any other form. Sure. An NES that size. But you could get a Millennium Falcon toy that's the same size as the sure. Millennium Falcon Lego thing. Sure. Yeah. But you didn't build it yourself. That's the, exactly that's the point. But like, there's like detail and things you can select. How easy how you is it do to it? build a fucking the box? The NES is just a box. Yeah, but I don't see I, a design. I don't challenge. I don't, okay, I'm not defending this thing because I don't want it either. <laughs> I know you already bought for it. For the record, I don't. We I don't know you care. got it. But yeah. you're right. That part is just a box. Then you make the screen and the TV that moves. Like you, it's there's more to it than just I, the box. But these are, I guess, where I'm getting my what my brain won't do. And again, I'm not saying I'm right. But I could have the NES and a TV already. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just don't get... It's like making a full-size Lego toilet. 
And I'm with you. Actually, that kind of sounds yeah, fun. There you go. I, I, I so, and you'd rather have that. So there but you, you know go, what I folks. Mean? No, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Pull the Swedes. I, I don't know. The TV um, doesn't impress me. For I know that toilet. that's what makes it I've fun. I've trained success in the chat. That's nice. Hey, excellent. I, I'm with you, though, Rocco. I, I, I have an NES still. I have my NES. Yeah. And I got a TV that I could hook it up to if I wanted yeah. at any time. I uh, but I don't have a Sentinel to go with my already. Exactly. I've okay, already the, got the, a collection the, of the little three-inch Marvel figures. Sentinel, how great it is! Exactly. So you know, I'm just adding to the already existing collection by going with Sentinel. Well, these are the two guys talking, but they they these guys have the biggest toy collection of anybody in the group. Yeah. So of course yeah, they're true. jizzing over the Do Sentinel. We, is that the two of us have the biggest collection? Yeah. I really. Who would have down. a bigger? One, I guess. Yeah, you have like I'll legit display cases for yeah, your that's figures. true. But I just I feel like I've really slowed down like in the last yeah, well, it doesn't five mean you years. Going hard yeah, yeah, I would love point. to say that I did, it, but you know, Scrooge McDuck ain't getting any more coins, but he's still rich. <laughs> I'm just hoarding now. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's you. That's but my shit's all like old. Like no one cares about the the See, Palisades. I like my figures because I have legitimately like figures or little things. I probably yeah. have three. So when I yeah. have them, they stand out like, oh shit! I mean, look at that. Uh, There's one of them. Tony. One of the ones that you do have, Sean. Yeah. It's funny. I saw a thing the other day about. I don't know what I was reading, or it was on some collector site, or maybe it was Reddit. I don't know. But they said like, here's one of my prized possessions, and it was the Awesomeo from oh, South Park. Yeah, that's the, one of the my... robot. You know, yeah. robot version of Cartman when he's in the the cardboard. Yeah. They yeah. had it boxed. Oh. And everyone was commenting like, oh, dude, holy grail. Dude, holy grail. What? I think it might be rare or something. Oh. So we shouldn't have opened it. Oh, well, I opened it and that thing is not well, pristine. In that'll means. That'll, teach you to, that'll teach you to open and enjoy things. Well. I see that stuff all the time. You, like, I, dude, I had all the turtles and look how much they're worth, uh, you know, or whatever it is. Uh, all of this stuff. And, and I had it in the box. But. What a stupid kid! I opened all of it. It's like, yeah, did, did you Play have a, it. did you have fun as a kid? Like, I mean, I opened up what? the Osmo, and then like it's Cartman's <laughs> sweaty face underneath it. That's great. I don't regret opening. One that. of my favorite details <laughs> yeah. any toy has He's ever had sweaty. because it made no indication that its head came off. Right, no. the box of the, whatever, and if you do it, it is sweaty Cartman like. <laughs> that, I, I mean, we just discovered like that dying. when it was on your desk. Yeah. That was like, whoa. Anyway, I guess I have the Holy Grail, guys. Yeah. So. uh... I'm happy for you. You have the Holy Grail. That's Thank you. Uh, Thank now you. that people know, they might break in. Oh shit! And steal, steal my figure, oh, my wow. one figure, right off your yeah. desk. Uh -oh. Sometimes I think about Kim Kardashian. Yeah, me too. And uh, they, they, she got held up. You remember they robbed her? I don't for her jewels, oh, for her yeah, jewelry. That. Yeah, in Paris, and she was never like as uh, flamboyant and flashy after that. Well, so this might be your Kim Kardashian mm, moment oh, if they shit. come for that Cartman. Yeah. Hey, but I wanted to ask because got. this is a quarantine cast. We are still in the middle of the 2020 pandemic. You may or may not realize it. Uh, shit just keeps getting crazier by the day. Yeah. I almost feel bad for America. I, I do feel bad for America. <laughs> the fucking virus. Yeah. Goddamn protests. Shit. That whole situation. Now mm. fucking oh, yeah. hurricanes are coming yeah. into the equation Gee, and California serious? is like 90% on fire. We <laughs> yeah, can't catch that. a fucking break over here. Yeah. We can't catch a fucking break. And, uh, but mega 64, we champion on don't feel bad for us folks. We, <laughs> we are thriving. Somehow yeah. we figured it out and we're yeah. still, uh, we're still creating stuff. Yeah. And I, we were going out. Wait, I wanted to just say, um, uh, well, go ahead. I, I no. was going to take this somewhere, but go ahead, Sean. Well, no, I was just going to say that, you know, we're still going to Smash Mouth concerts and it's great. Like, yeah, it, let's talk about Smash Mouth concerts and mix that into what I was going to bring up. Okay. Uh -huh. Restaurants are pretty much back open. They're just outdoors. In, in parking Some spots. of them aren't even, though, because we went past a couple restaurants in California, uh, here in San Diego that yeah. are pretty much just back in full swing because they were mostly patio to begin with. Yeah. Uh, yep. And that was crazy because it was like people in line, people like waiting, piling all over each other, waiters and waitresses. Yeah. It was nuts. And on top of that, the Smash Mouth concert. Yeah. Was just as bad. <laughs> Uh, have you guys gone to any concerts? 
Smash Mouth <laughs> concerts? Have you gone to Smash Burger? Have you eaten at any restaurants? Have you thought about uh, eating at restaurants? I'm so tempting to you. I've gone to restaurants that are takeout a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But I have pick not, it up. I have, I've always, a firm believer, I always hate eating inside a restaurant. And I'm in the minority here. Wait, even before? Even before. What? Wait, what'd you say? When at, I hate, I don't like eating inside restaurants. I don't I'm with like you. it. I was thinking about this today and I was like, you know what? what? That's crazy. I don't need to go back to restaurants ever. Yeah. Ever. I kind what? of, I've Why? been reflecting on it and I don't think I like the experience of going to a restaurant. I definitely don't. And I don't for, I don't know, maybe it's because I used to work at a restaurant. I'm not sure what it is. But whenever we get like even fast food and like, you guys, let's just eat here. I always go in my heart, go, ugh. <laughs> Fuck. Why? I don't want to. I don't that want to. That makes eat sense because every time we would go out to eat to like write something, you would always be the first one to go. You guys want to get out of here? I like, hate it. I am like not even done. I'll, I'll tell you what like it is it. for me. <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure what it is for me, but I'll try to self dissect and self analyze. I'm very much a creature of comfort. I like doing the same thing over and over. That like brings me joy. And restaurants are either like a new experience or the same old thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, and the new experience I realize kind of gives me anxiety, like pouring over the menu and then ordering something bad. God forbid it, it just kind of sucks. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like picking up food and bringing it home and just being a place I'm comfortable and having yeah. something I know I'm going to like. And, I don't need the waitress. I don't need like right. the That's, other people around me. I don't need to be waited on. It, it's just, I can relax when I'm just at home. And that's it's what it is. I think when I'm at a restaurant, I, even though I haven't worked at a restaurant in like 11 years, I look at it and think that hostess is swamped. That table uh, needs to be bust. Like I yeah. see all the things oh, yeah. that are I, wrong. I've never even thought And that. just think like, oh man, this sucks. This is a bad situation this server's in right now. And I don't feel good ever. I hate it. Ugh. I'm a I can't creature. identify with this at all. I can't either. I'm a creature of habit like you, Derek, but my habit is, yeah, go back for the same old, same old at, like, the yeah. few restaurants I frequent. Yeah. But I frequent them at very slow times Yeah. where there's, like, one or two other people in there. I would always go to places that aren't very popular. So I, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying, Sean, where, like, I can tell they're excited someone just came in. And I always have great experiences yeah, I mean, I, if a place sucks, I never go back. Yeah. I, I have places. But I got my favorites that I just kind of keep going back to. I don't know. Like, yeah. if I go to a I restaurant like too out. much, honestly, after like three or Miss four it. or six or seven visits, I'm sick of the food. And I don't know. Maybe I've just I don't burned know. myself I've out. Never I don't know. I got, I got like five places that I have the same thing. Every time I go, yeah. I order the same dish. Every once in a while, I'll start going, all right, maybe get something else. Well, it, it, this is just something I was thinking about today, actually. Yeah, I was like, yeah. when all this is over, I don't know if I'm really excited to go back to a restaurant. That's not something I'm dying to do I, again. Yeah. I was, every year for my birthday, Junior, you want to go to a restaurant, and invite all your friends, all of our friends, everyone. You wanted to see I don't that. like that. And I, yeah, I'm always like, no, thank you. Like, let's just not celebrate my birthday because I, when it comes to like splitting the check at the end and all that stuff, I just go crazy and I stress about the whole meal. Like, I'm just I not know a lot of people that. who stress about that. Yeah, I'm one of those people. That's why for my birthday, I always choose a place that uh, you order the food first and then sit down somewhere. Like, yeah, so same here. I did that last that, couple times. Food and then you find a seat. I I have a lot of anxiety about a lot a lot of anxiety about a lot of stuff, but yeah. that is something that's never bothered me. I don't like. I just I think social anxieties. I just don't. I think it applies in a lot of ways. I think that's why Mega 64 <laughs> is like an ideal venue for me to you know, do stupid shit is because I think I just like don't care. You know what frees you from that anxiety is you're you're willing to pick up the tab a lot of the time. I'm just going to say out there for us. Uh, sometimes, but, when, but when I've been in a lot out. of situations. And that's, that's something that's freed up my anxiety with that because I have that for sure. And the last couple of birthdays, like Kevin... I've chose like a place where you pay first. Yeah. And, yeah, I think I think sometimes though, I can understand though. Uh, I will say sometimes I'm with just some stupid people who like are making it <laughs> way too. You know what I mean? It's happened where you're at one of those things and it's like you have made this ten times more complicated. Right. But generally, I'm I'm with pretty bright people and they figure um, out. I also will <laughs> say that a clear leader. This is only affecting me, but like going with like Jenny and the kids, it's like okay. Sawyer, get out from the underneath the table. When and it's, it's nonstop like work. 
Sure. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's true. You, you're in a different When it's just me and Jenny going well. on a date, that's fine. Because that's, that's right. what I'm basing my experience on. But like on. that, that is so yeah. rare for me that that's like once I a do, year. I ex- do prefer, though, going with a smaller thing. I, I'm not saying like I like going with a ton of people. I, I think like I more like than I've four. I've had a lot of like buyer's remorse at restaurants, too. Sure. Like getting something that was insanely expensive. Even down to, I bought like four tacos the other day at a taco shop. Four tacos, and I had to pay like thirty-eight dollars. What? Jesus! What? Yeah. What, what the huh? fuck? Gold tacos? What Wait, no, no, they, were just, they were like right. Yeah, I walked out of there so fucking pissed off. I was like, I don't know if you fucked up or what, but that yeah, sounds like a fuck up. <laughs> yeah, but also like I couldn't tell if because of COVID. They were struggling oh, they, and had they, increased their the, prices. The price of like carne, like yeah, yeah. Carne has, been has like, gone up because okay. yeah, it's harder to or get. just yeah. because they need to pay their rent. Oftentimes, I find like yeah, restaurants got to pay their rent because man, this fucking food is not <laughs> worth eighteen fucking dollars for this shit. I can make it home for six. So there's that buyer's remorse. Then if you're tr- trying, we talked about being healthy on the last podcast. If you're trying to eat healthy and you're going out to a restaurant. I would say 60% of the time you gamble on something you don't know if it's going to taste good. And then you're like, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So eating out is not cracked, all it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, uh, I, I don't, I miss it, but I also don't feel any need to do it right now. Like, no, it's, not such right a, now. it's such a compromised situation right now that it's like, well, yeah, it, Oh yeah, I could go and have someone in a hazmat suit serve me food. Yeah, and got, like uh, nah, I'm good. It sucks. It's not so inc- it's not so uh, important to my life that I can't skip. That's it right next now. level. Just I feel bad for those people having to work yeah. with all that shit on. And I well, it sucks for several reasons because they have to work. Like that's their job, and they need money to make rent. Yeah. And it's a fucking shitty situation. Yeah. yeah. So they're putting their lives on the line to serve people Damn, beer dude. and hot dogs, and it's like this. Let me sucks. tell you, I did take out from a place. Yeah. I'm not gonna name this place. It was a restaurant. I went in there. They had their patio open, so the patio is filled with people. No masks on. Go figure. And I'm waiting in the takeout, and the food wasn't ready, so I had to wait out in the takeout, and I could just see these people are interacting, and half the customers like don't want to do social distancing right. or wear anything. And then there's like the people like me. There's like four of us that are just like fucking freaking out. You can tell by our body language. We're just like looking at each other like, <laughs> get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, I regret coming in here. I regret ordering this food. Like, I'm practically holding my breath right, yeah. for right. 10 minutes waiting for this nightmare to end. I um, show up late to pick up my food now during oh. COVID. I've made an effort to, they say 15 minutes. I don't get there like 25. Uh, yeah. I've I give it places. I give it 10 minutes to make sure it's like ready. Some some places won't start cooking your food until you show up. Oh. What the fuck? Where yeah. are you? Don't go dude, there. I've, I've had dude, every where, bad what experience you can imagine. That <laughs> get $38 yeah. tacos and they don't show up. <laughs> this was a different taco shop multiple times. I would call in an yeah. order, I get there, they'd be like, "Okay, just a few minutes." And then the dude starts cooking. I'm like, "You've got to be you fucking cold ahead. Oh yeah. my god. Dude. I haven't had that happen to me. I, I've had pretty good with the calling in stuff. I've had pretty good experiences. Me too. Um but uh Yeah. Sometimes they yeah. forget, said somebody in the chat. You're oh. right. I'm not here making a scene. I wait patiently, holding my breath, curled up in the corner. I tip there. before I leave. We're all struggling here. If this is the taco shop, I think it is though, they're kind of airheaded there. Oh, okay. Yeah, every well, taco shop. What, what, what it reminded me of, Derek, when you were talking about, like, are they just changing prices to make ends meet? I'm telling you, and Sean will Sean will have his own thing to say about this, but Uh-oh. Sean, that taco place that is, like, not far from where you live. Yes. I'm telling you, we, me and Derek were going there, and it was, all, no matter what we ordered, it, it kept giving us the same total. And it was like, wait. I ordered like a couple tacos. Like, why is it that much? Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. And then they would correct it. It's like, wait, no. What were you charging me before? They yeah. just kept making every what item eight fuck? bucks. Right. And then I ordered. Do you remember that, Derek? Yeah. And then I, re- I remember I went back like, oh, I forgot to get like a drink for someone and something else. And it was the same total again. Dude. It was like, all right, 22 bucks. It's like. I just asked for a drink and one taco. It was something like that. Taco and they went, and they went whatever, and they are cracked. fucking bizarre. Taconomics yeah. make no sense. Because <laughs> I go to one taco shop and it'd be like, a burrito's twelve dollars. Right. Okay. And then you show up like, yeah, what kind of soda do you want? I'd be like, I don't want a soda. 
Well, it comes with the burrito. Well, how much is the burrito without the soda? We don't do that. What? <laughs> just, just give me a fucking what? charging you seven dollar burrito, no soda. Uh, you know, Taco Nomics. Or yeah. everything is eight dollars. Yeah. Whether it's I, that is the taco shop I go to the most. I go there yeah. all the time, and I will say that every time when I give him my card, I'm always like, I wonder what this is gonna be, because it's never the same, even yeah. though my order is the same. So you're oh, right. Really? But their food is the best. So because I, I remember I when I told you about it, you were like that. That doesn't sound like them. Well, I, it, it <laughs> may be right. They also, but they got this new hot Cheeto burrito. Let me. Oh, yeah. I have a question for you I guys. thought you were going to say they got this new hot I, chick. I was like, oh, I, this I have a question hot for you guys, and I think this is going to be fun, and I think this is going to potentially piss off people in the chat. Maybe okay. not, though. Okay. Because they don't, you know, experience Mexican food like we do. What is the most you have, or what is the most you would pay for a burrito? The most. Ooh, that's a good question. I'm talking a big old burrito. Okay. How much are you Whatever forking Whatever I out? want in this burrito. I'm like, talking like this a, is top shelf, <laughs> maximum burrito. It's just the burrito like, you want the most. Listen, I got a number. you've been around the world for the past five years. You've just come back to San Diego. You yeah. want the ultimate burrito I will, at your favorite place. Yeah. I will tell you. How I, much are you willing to pay? Let me start because I'm sure I'm the cheapest. Okay. I ha well, maybe not. But I... Have paid at the ballpark. I got Lucha Libre. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pricey that's there. Premium. I think it was $18. Yeah, because they charge you more. At it that. was yeah. $18, and I wasn't happy about it, but I was like, well, I'm watching a baseball game, eating my favorite food, so I can't complain. Yeah. So I spent I said the 18 bucks. I didn't think about premium experience. But that's not even, though. but I, here's the thing that's in the ballpark yeah, that's with a, the price hike of the ballpark. I feel like I that do doesn't. That too. That's like a weird example. Okay, yeah. okay, no, fine. That's a I'm good example because he actually paid that. But that, he did pay. I would never I, I in have my too. life because that is way too much. That's a good example. But I would he never, got Lucha Libre. I did in a desperate situation. But, but yeah. maybe that changes my answer because I have an answer in my mind. But I went to that same burrito place when I saw Paul McCartney at that stadium, yeah. and yeah. I gladly paid it. I'm like, that's oh, dude, Lucha Libre burrito. We're watching a Beatle. <laughs> I'll pay whatever. Right. I would never so, do eighteen dollars, but, but there that's two people but, who paid eighteen dollars. But bucks hold on. Out, three. But outside of let's throw out that example. Let's okay, throw fine. that out. Outside, outside of that, of that real on the street. My prices. answer was going to be ten. Ten. Because wow. oh, oh okay. My favorite burrito at a local place, they have like a burrito with shrimp and all this other shit in it. And they raised the price the, it's like with with tax and everything comes to like 13 now they raised the price to 12 oh, something that yeah. sucks and after tax is 13 and i don't get it anymore yeah. whoa so i thought oh it was 10 before that must be my limit that's bucks. my limit was, i was, was gonna 12. say 12 same here i wow. was gonna say 12 because at 13 dollars i get pissed off yeah yeah i will say but it's funny though it if i get if i get sushi i'll get a sushi roll that costs 15 dollars one roll no problem mm -hmm. i mean i won't be happy about it but it's like ah well it's sushi mm -hmm. But yeah, burrito. I kind of, I I kind of don't want to factor in the 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 Paul McCartney burrito yeah, situation. Yeah, all right, but let's either. because that that's a, so, a situation. Hear me yeah. out, Johnny. You are traveling the world. Johnny has been quiet the whole podcast. So Johnny, he you're here. To this. You're down Johnny, there. Johnny, I, I feel you're like a fan who like paid pay money for, for like a Kickstarter <laughs> to like <laughs> be a special Johnny guest on the podcast. Like I'm yeah. just watching. No, what would Johnny? Yeah, you're not from here. What would you pay for a burrito? Uh, the most. Uh, I've paid twelve dollars but like I, it hurts me when anything over nine like then i'm like yeah, it should be over yeah. nine. and they are nine everywhere but, now but, yeah it's always nine <laughs> but you make a good point though when you talked about 12 to 13 derek because when they raised the price of that burrito to 12 yeah i was pissed but i did order it it was only when they rang it up and after tax it was 13 that i was like whoa yeah, i'm never that. buying this again wow. mm, so maybe sucker. 12 Maybe twelve. I don't okay. like it, yeah. but I'll do it. Maybe. So yeah. on a normal day, on a normal day, I won't go above eight fifty. Here's the situation: <laughs> you <laughs> are Del Taco. fifty years old, traveling the world. Mm -hmm. You're in Berlin. Somehow, Paul McCartney is still alive. Wow! wow. Good for him. This is probably his last Hologram. concert ever. Well, honestly. he's vegan, so it's possible. Yeah, and he's he's top of his game. He's he sounds good, and you're there to see it. Probably his last concert ever. And Lucha Libre is there. Mm -hmm. You're 50 years old, so this is far in the future. Maybe they've been out of business, but they're back now, let's uh -huh. say. Lucha Libre is there. Paul McCartney's last concert. Year old. He's old. Yeah. How many Deutschmarks? The burrito costs $42. Oh, oh my God. 
Oh, that's so real. Yeah, but with inflation, how many years? Yeah, this now? is in the future. This well, is, is when you're 50 thing? years old. Hey, I got I got terrible news for you, Rocco. Yeah. This is 14 years in the future, so it's not that far into the future. Nah, that's, that's I mean, I hate to break it to you, buddy. Maybe for but, you, yeah, but not that, for me. I, not for I, me. I, yeah, you hear 50 years old, and I think, oh, that's... Fu- yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, with flying cars then? This oh, no. This is like 22 years in the future for me. <laughs> oh, it's 14 years? <laughs> I'm okay. The Anyways, all right. So forty two dollars. Who's paying? Who's buying this burrito and who's staying hungry at the Paul McCartney concert when you're fifty years old? Oh, if that's there, yeah, no, I'll, I'll do it. Forty two, baby. That's a special event. I wouldn't do it at home. All right, Garrett. With inflation, no. though. You're fifty years old. I'm fifty years old. Yeah, you factor I, that in. He I'm, doesn't like Paul McCartney that much. I'm not going for the surf and turf. Hey, Garrett. At that point, I'm going vegan like Paul. Wait, <laughs> wait, Garrett. Because it's you. Yeah. It's a Danzig concert. Oh, oh. dude! It's Nirvana, and, and they got Kurt. And, and it's Glenn. He's like, really? Uh, this is his last concert. He's yeah. fought with the band. They all hate him. Yeah, Jerry's not invited, but Doyle's still playing bass. I will. I okay. Um, forty-two bucks. Forty-two bucks. I, I I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's yeah, the, even not even that far from now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like it's still not going to be more than meal. 20. But notice how changing it to Danzig made him consider it more than Paul McCartney. Yeah, I do think it's that the that situation makes a difference. Yeah, it yeah. does. It really does. Because 18 is a lot for a burrito, but, I, but for Paul McCartney, but it would have I was it. on such a high there. Yeah. I was so excited to go see Paul McCartney again. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to get my favorite food, watch Paul McCartney. Fuck yeah, this night rules. You know, yeah. that's how I felt. Kevin, you're up there. Johnny, we're still, we didn't ask you. Kevin, would yeah. you do it? I don't know. No, I wouldn't do it at forty-two dollars. Forty-two. Did you but do the Kevin, 18? But Kevin, when we saw Paul, oh yeah, I, I paid eighteen. You, oh, he did. yeah, you were. I mean, right? We were on the same page to pay whatever for fucking Lucha Libre yeah. that night. Right. It I, sounded I great. You're in Berlin, by the way. You're in Berlin. The yeah. gonna be as good. How many Deutschmarks are you I'll willing to pay? Dude. But Lucha Libre is there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go for know, something like, local. I, I, I stick to local. Like, if I went to Lucha Libre and it was in Japan, I don't wouldn't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Kevin, just in normal prices though today, what's your burrito max? What $10. do you? dollars. And I'm seeing a lot of fives in the chat. Like, oh, five's my max. Yeah. Five. Not in California. Those burritos are full of rice and beans. Yeah, talk yeah. about yeah. burritos. Yeah. 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 Happening here. T- no. Del Taco. Hey, if your max is five dollars. You're shopping at Taco Bell, and you're not even getting the most expensive thing at Taco hey, Bell. Let me <laughs> let me tell you something. This is gonna be a controversial statement, so uh-huh. please oh, forgive no. me. No. If you're talking about a five dollar burrito, you're not talking about a burrito. Yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry. Ooh. That is that, that San Diego Ooh. elitism. That is. But it that is. is. Ooh, it is he said it. it. What I said that. Do about it? When you get a carne asada burrito here, it is solid carne asada. Yeah. yeah. It is not. It's Guacamole. not rice and shit. It's not mixed in with rice no beans. and beans and stuff. All that does is make Some it pico. Yep. And it's like. Kevin's yeah. spot on. When I go to Taco Bell, I'll get a bean and cheese burrito. But I'm not in my head thinking yeah. this is a good burrito. I'm thinking this yeah. will f- and there's, that's feed the me. And a bean and cheese burrito is $2. So like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and can I make this political? <laughs> Please. Yeah. If oh, please. Donald oh, Trump finally. came to San Diego and ate a burrito, yes. he probably Fart his brains out. <laughs> oh. No. Dude. That's right. Yeah. Wow. See all that red smoke? That's his fucking, that's the Air that's Force One fart. fuselage after he wow. just, dude, finish a California burrito. You just suck made, on that. You just made a political dude. What? Oh, yeah. man. I'm trying to We're about yeah. political satire. Apolitical. Toilet Johnny, humor. say yeah. something or we'll click you off. Oh fuck! Uh, I wouldn't pay Harris the forty-two dollars. She can eat a burrito and and no and gas. Very no gas. gas. She needs some no, no gas. gas. Air tight. She's gonna do us SBD at most. Kim Johnny, Kamala Harris Kamala, wouldn't Johnny. release a pip squeak of a fart if you fed her six feet of carne asada. That's right. She and might. She, she might give you a little SBD. Trump would do a full road warrior. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. exactly. And by the way, the man's almost fucking eighty. Johnny, he's vegan. And no, what, Johnny? Johnny, are you awake? What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say. What do you want? What? Do, uh, What's your? Ma- well, okay, we already said the burrito all right. thing. Uh, you all know right, what? Well, okay, you know what? Fuck it. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna buy the Sentinel. Hey, let's pause for a second. Hold on. Pause for a second. Oh, to do I I needed to oh, plug okay. something. Oh, I forgot. Shit. Yeah. That, okay. Shop.mega64.com. <laughs> what a web page. <laughs> Let me tell you. You load and you reload, and you're not gonna see anything better than that on the entire 
ARPANET. You're not seeing Metallica. Yeah. If you go to Metallica's website, please. You go to uh, eHarmony. Please. <laughs> Shop.mega64.com is the best online store. We've got all kinds of items. Uh, we're restocking stuff all the time, so stay mm. tuned. In fact... What's going on Friday? Big, it, it, very special for this audience as well. Because tomorrow, Friday, August 28th at noon Pacific, we are restocking the Mega 64 masks. Oh my God. Kevin, go wide. People I got have it. Been it's asking, back, baby. People have been asking High for these to nine. come back. Shit. Uh, this is our second. High five, Sean. Uh, no, third. This is the third time we've had them oh. offered, but they go fast every time. Well, we did pre orders. Uh, in the past, these ones, however, are going to be first come first serve because we re we actually printed more this last time that we had them produced. But they take a while to make, so if you want one now, this is the time to get them. Um, Let me speak on these masks. Speak on them, brother. Speak. These are the best masks you could possibly find yes. anywhere. I have walked this statement forward timidly, oh, but after much vetting and review, I could confidently say Absolutely. these are the best masks you can buy anywhere. Absolutely. At first, when we first put these on, I would say, you know, these are pretty robust masks, so don't worry about it. These are good ones. Then we put them back on sale, and it was, hey, the feedback is people really like these. This might be everyone's yep. favorite mask. Yep. We're coming around unanimously i've had i'm not talking on my ass here right, multiple no people have come up and just like drop the microphone hey this mask fucking rocks Absolutely. this is the best mask i've ever got from anybody in fact i'm almost insulted that they are so surprised mega 64 could put out something <laughs> such high quality yeah. it fits over your entire face comfortably it is adjustable on both sides it has a metal bar you can pull it down over your nose to get it tight or people have told me you can extend it to get a little breeze in there to help dry Ooh. your face off. It is so versatile. It has filters. You don't need to use the filters, but it comes with them. This yeah. mask is the best you can get. It also comes with the replacement yeah. of the metal bars. Yeah, so, replacement yeah. filters, replacement nose Very bars. Washable. Yeah, it's got a mold. This is top thing. tier shit. I'm yeah. really, Soft, I, yeah. I mean, the word has been spoken. Yep. Now, did you hear it? That's the question. <laughs> Amen. Oh, so pick one of those up this Friday Hallelujah. if you have the chance. And as always, check out patreon.com slash mega64 because there's always exclusive fun stuff going on there too. And uh, if you're watching us on Twitch, give us a, you know, give us your Twitch Prime sub for the Have month. you guys uh, given a mask to your parents? Yes. Yes. They, do they like them? My oh, dad yeah. sends me pictures of him. He's working right now. He's working the Padre game. So like he's like in the truck wearing his mask. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. My yeah. dad's an ocularist. He makes fake eyes. He's a doctor, but he's not a medical doctor. But yeah. he has to be right up close to these people with oh, their yeah. missing an eye. And he's like, I felt so claustrophobic having this other mask on, but yours is like so great. So oh, nice. Helping the medical community. Jeez. We have people on the street <laughs> around here we hand masks out to. We see them wearing them all the time. Yeah. So we have a friend downstairs, yeah, who we see every day that he always has his on. So yeah. I'm giving them to my uh Brother-in-law, he just asked for another one. He loves it so much. There yeah, in go. fact, so many people in my close personal circle yeah, have this mask. They've told me, like, I feel like I'm in a cult. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like, you know, we all have it. it has the 6'4". I was like, you should. You're in the yeah. cult of the superior mask. You I always think one. me and Johnny must look crazy driving around. Because usually I don't wear a mask when I'm in the car. <laughs> but when me and Johnny are driving around yeah, together, we yeah. both yeah, wear up. these matching masks. Res responsible. Yeah, yeah, because we're not living together, you know, so we are... You know, in that one time period, breaking the social distance of six feet, so we mask up. But it is weird getting looks for like these guys fucking match. Huh. Yeah. yeah, Heaven's um, Gate over here. Yeah. Hey, speaking of all of speaking of medical, you know, uh, doing doing the right thing medically. Yeah. Okay. Have you guys been following all this stuff with? So yesterday the CDC said, yeah. "Now nah, you don't need to test anybody yet. Right. We're actually not recommending that." What right, the fuck yes. is and that? Then, doesn't Dr. Fauci didn't he say, "Yo, I was in surgery. I don't yeah, really know." Yeah, he was under anesthesia when that was announced. I don't know what that's about. And then today the CDC went, "Oh yeah, 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 D yeah, get tested. You should get tested." Uh, wow. Is there any more info? On no, no all I know is out. that the California governor yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, we're not going to listen to the CDC. We're just going to do our own thing and yeah. we're going to do tests. In the middle oh, of all did? that, that's what he said. Yeah. And it was like, but people were like, wait, don't listen to the CDC. I thought we were following science. Yeah, but no, but this, I don't think they're following science. Oh, man. The it's whole situation you know, sucks. We need, um, we need people to 
we need somebody to help fucking calm everyone down. Yeah. That's what I want <laughs> yeah. so desperately out of life. Somebody yeah. to get on a fucking microphone and just be like, listen, here's some real talk. Things are fucked. Yes. Yeah. But we're going to get through it. Just chill. Right. But instead, it's like people just fucking riling each other up. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't get tested. No, I didn't say that. Did you say that? No, no. Who said that? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, man. I feel like we're in the people on stage here, the people on this show, we're in the same boat as the people in the chat. We're mm -hmm. part of the great American audience just yeah. eating popcorn, terrified. Yeah, like, can you having to live this horror movie? Just waiting. Yeah, just being like, yeah, okay, here's new news. I don't know if we could trust it. I'll just uh, ride this shit storm out. Can you out. imagine? I, I, I hope, here's the news. I, w I wish I could trust it. That sucks. That's a fucking bummer. Well, it's entertainment now. Well, I, I yeah. Just, uh, my uh, my kids are all news. starting school on Monday. Oh, fuck. But, oh, cool. But thank God they're listening to the scientists at, I think, UCSD or something. And they're like, yeah, we're not going back until the scientists say that we're good. But, like, most people I know are not in this district. And they're like, well, yeah, we, my, my daughter's going to school. They yeah. wear the math at school. I have family members who their kids attend a private school. Same. Uh, it's a Christian school. Yeah. Uh, I'll just be honest here. And uh, that school is back in session. Fully back <laughs> in session. You know, the kids are yeah. back. No mass. Let's do it. Uh, and there, my family members are like, they're pulling their kids out. Cause they're like, well, I mean, you know, we can't do that. We're just going to homeschool them, I right. guess. But yeah, yeah. So now they're left to like figure it out for themselves. You know, that's yeah. the, that's the boat we're all in. We just kind of have to figure yeah. it out for ourselves. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. I, I'm just so thankful that like, cause a lot of people don't want to send their kids out, but they have no choice. And I'm just yeah. fortunate enough that I'm in a position where, like, my kids are not going back to school, but Jenny's still working from home because her building is still closed. You know what? The yeah. sad thing is, quarantine cast, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it is money motivated. And that, sure. you know, for better or worse, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. These private schools, if they don't enroll students, they don't get tuition. So the schools may close if they don't enroll students. So their option is enroll students during a pandemic or close. Okay, that is a tough decision, yeah. But that's a money-motivated decision. Right. And parents who need to put their kids back in school so that they can go to work. Right. That's a tough decision, too. But that is also a money-motivated yep. decision. Right. Well, and, I well, all I'm going to say hmm. is you can't... Let's not deny that these decisions are motivated by money when we're throwing science out and then being like pretending that that's not the reason we're throwing science out. Well, I just can't. Why do they have to work? We got twelve hundred dollars uh, five months ago. Yeah, that's so, what I keep telling people. Hello? Like, what would you do with bitching, it? Quit all the, you know, peanut gallery stuff. You got twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, you should in have half of that left. In still. April, and you, and what happened? Don't to that tell money? me you spent it. You spent that. I heard it's we gone. were getting another twelve hundred. Is that happening? No, God, no. Of course not. Well, they no. they went on break till September, so I, I yeah, we'll, <laughs> we might hear about it next month. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I don't. But know. I hope not, because honestly, we don't deserve it. We. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down to the last four dollars of that thing, and I'm. You only have four dollars oh, left, Kevin. Okay. We don't have answers here. We just like to make jokes and then laugh about it, so it. that we don't have to cry about yeah, it. Yeah, you're supposed to hold on to that. People in the chat are like, "Wait, we're supposed to hang on to it?" You know what? Fuck. You, you know what? I didn't. You, you were supposed to say. I got that check. I got one check, but I got two letters in the mail telling me yeah, I got the check. Me too. <laughs> and that made me think I was getting a second check. Why did I get two fucking letters? Well, I didn't get those. Yeah, I don't think I got those either. I got a letter I, that was like, your president just saved your fucking ass. Yep. And I hope yeah. you know it. You yeah. owe You him. got 1200 Republican dollars. Yeah, you're welcome. Signed, Donald J. Trump. Yep. And two weeks later, the same letter showed up again. Huh. Yeah, um, I got it so long after I got the check. It was like, and it, it said like, it's coming your way. It's like, no, it's not. Unless you're sending another one. Uh... My br I don't think he cares that I would say this, but my brother, uh, I've never seen something received and destroyed faster. <laughs> it was like a, a cut scene from like Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> that was delivered. <laughs> that was, <laughs> what's this in the mailbox? <laughs> it was some Ninja Gaiden shit. That thing was in pieces at the bottom of it. I mean, it was uh, like, that's whoa. He knows. I kept both of them. 
you know you, how I feel? Yeah, it, it's, it's a history. historic it's document. History. Yeah, of course it's a historic document. You know, I, I yeah. To me, it's just like wow, this was a thing. Like I'll look <laughs> back at that. Maybe you know what? Maybe. This Yay. is my thought. I I at first with this quarantine had so many things to. I'm gonna document this. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I, because this is never going to happen again. Yeah. And then I'm realizing, oh, it's never going to fucking end. Why document <laughs> any of it? Who cares? But I bet you that will be interesting to keep that. I did this with, uh, I did that with 9-11. When 9-11 happened, I was, I wrote down everything in a journal through school that day. Because oh, I thought, this is big enough that I bet in 50 years, if I crack this thing open, I'd be like, whoa. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck that thing is. Wow. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking back to all these school things I threw away from my desk when I moved, and it was like, that's probably in there. Yeah. Maybe someone will find it one day in a And they'll be like, this is what Rocco got. And they'll be like, who, who was this? Um, I'm happy to be back here doing this yeah. quarantine yeah. cast. I yeah. missed you guys. I'm waiting for the butt. Uh, there busy. is no butt. Okay. There is no butt. The quarantine is still going on. I can't believe that. Well, I think we're over the debate whether it's still going on or not. I felt yeah. like for a moment there was a debate there. Like, it's over. Yeah. Fucking go back to work already. What are you waiting for? But well, I, think I, I feel like that debate's over. A lot of states have opened up, and those are the ones who are really fucked right now. But California... I mean, are, they, are they? Yeah. The mid, the Midwest or the the, the South is. Pretty, I don't. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, I honestly don't know. Is it like spiking up? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. All, the, all, the, all the states anymore. that sent their kids back to school, their children got infected oh. by like overwhelming record numbers. I did hear about oh, that. Really? With like Alabama was having a spike because uh, because of school stuff. You heard something. Alabama? I, hear I heard that. Georgia yeah. and Texas. Well, and no. the are, kids have to wear masks though, right? Yeah, no, but they, well, they're kids. They're not doing that. Like my Lennon's going to kindergarten. Do you think the kindergartners are gonna keep their masks on? Like, she's really good at too. it. But like, I just, this is not. Uh, hey, life ain't a video game. It's not like two people wear a mask and hundred percent. Sure. You have like a virus buff. Sure. You know, you're rolling dice every time. Protecting yourself increases your chances of not getting it. Yeah. But it's a chance. You know, it's a statistic. It's a gamble. It's a wager. Uh, even when you're doing everything right, things yeah. could still go wrong. Yeah. That's just fucking a reality. That's yeah. life. Yeah, I I do I do feel like right now in Florida, I think nine thousand kids just tested positive for it. Yo. Kids, because oh. they're sending these kids to school, which is so fucked up. But well, luckily, uh, kids are easy to isolate. You lock them in a room for two weeks. Yeah, don't have to no fuck, problem. deal with them. But I. I'm looking around and I see other places, and I'm looking at like San Diego. And it's like when I go out, I've seen a couple people without masks on and throwing timber tantrums. They're pissed, but everyone is on the same page that I've seen of being like, yeah. "Where the fuck a mask?" Get in over general, it. in general, yeah, it's pretty good. There is one Mexican food place that I feel like generally everyone's always on the same page, and but it's in an area where I know there's a lot of people who. Aren't. Not not the smartest clientele, right? And one, I, I'd say once per visit, I probably see one guy who looks like Mr. Tough Guy not wearing one, right? But I will say that and, majority are everybody on, else, dude. Yeah. They're on board with this yeah. mask thing, which it's is great. A tough guy. Yeah. But like, you look at like, okay, San Diego's numbers. We have you know a million people in our city, yeah, or more than that in the county, but whatever. And it's like three hundred new ones a day, which is yeah. a lot. But compared to what like these like smaller. Like, oh, this this town has 300,000, but they just tested for 5,000 people just got it. It's like, yeah, that is like showing you, like, just wear the fucking mask. It's yeah. not hard. Just wear the mask. Yeah, I see a lot of athletes out jogging, biking, rollerblading, that kind of thing down the street without the masks on. But I get that. And you're moving so fast past people. Like, I think it's fine. Uh, when but I run, I, I don't have it. But you no, still, I don't yeah. Wear it. I just have it like this, and then I just put it up when someone's. I think you should have it with you wherever you go. Yeah. If you're moving, if you're outdoors, if it's a breezy, ventilated area, your risk goes down. You right. can probably take it off, especially if there's nobody around. You can definitely take it off. If you're passing somebody, throw that shit on as a courtesy. Right. Yeah. It right. protects them from you. It doesn't protect you from them. Right. Do it as a courtesy. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about the guy from SEAL Team Six who shot Osama bin Laden? Got banned when? from flying on Delta because he wouldn't put a mask on uh, on oh, the airplane. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, because I saw his photo. I saw his photo smiling, and he said, "And it says, not a, I'm not a pussy. I know pussy. I'm oh not a God. pussy.' Uh, it's always, it's always like, uh, 
Uh, it's thing. an issue of like toughness. Or yeah, it's, it's a macho thing, that and I don't caring get it. for people is seem to be as a, a sign of weakness. Like, what is that? Yeah, I don't yeah, want. That's weird. If I have it, I don't want it to give it to anyone else. Why is that making me a pussy? So, Plus, me, hey, so, I'm pretty sure. Not to cut you off, I'm yeah. pretty sure when I saw Zero Dark Thirty, they're going down that fucking hall in Palestine, shooting at all, all Osama bin Laden. They got fucking masks on. Yeah. <laughs> so don't tell me it's a pussy move to put a mask on. I saw the fucking movie when you did the kill yeah. shot. They make Someone, them look like Punisher masks. Someone in the chat says he's good at killing, not being nice, and I agree. He is. Good well, he, you know what? He's going to do some more killing with no mask. Do you think Good that guy him. really is telling the truth? I think that guy's full of shit. Maybe. And just know. wanted to sell a book. Yeah, what? maybe. What are you talking about? That guy that claims he killed Osama bin Laden. Mm. Yeah, that guy is probably... You yeah, Now he's doing the mask thing as a publicity stunt. Yeah, to get back in, you know, on that some guy's Fox News interviews. That guy's probably really a nobody. <laughs> according to Garrett. <laughs> yeah. I could take him. Uh... But yeah, I, I saw that, and I don't know. There's been all kinds of stuff. Now, I have some insider intel. Uh, about and that I, guy? I can't. Uh, mask intel? Ser in all seriousness, I've been told this by some reliable sources. Is this the vaccine news this I'm hasn't waiting for? Hit the main, the, this hasn't hit the lamestream media yet. <laughs> but I'm being serious. Oh, okay. I have heard from inside people that Disneyland is opening September 28th. Ooh! Wow! Wait, That's I want everyone day out after there. After my birthday, did Florida keep, a, stay keep an eye out, everyone out there, because I bet you that news is going to hit Twitter any minute now. Cool. And well, it's, it just but did. it's true. I've you heard, heard that. It here I first. think. That I think, and true. like they talked with the government, they talked with whatever, and it's like it's on the books. They're opening it September twenty eighth. So what do you I'm think? I'm lining up now. What do I think? I'm Kevin's I'm lining up books. now. Yeah, I'm wow! Gonna, right after um, I'm going to line up. Yeah, it's the same. How can that be on the books when the California laws haven't? Announced that but I think that they've guy. talked. Like I think it's like, yo, you think everything's gonna be good by then? Yeah, we're gonna get all our ducks in a row. Okay, I think they've talked. Uh, is what I've heard. Yeah, but Could you know wrong. what? It's Orange County people, of course. No vaccine, uh, did, uh, fucking course. No Did vaccine. World? Uh, two weeks before flu season hits, <laughs> sounds like a big mistake to me. Yeah, I don't think I'm going. Sorry, Johnny. Yeah. Will you say something, please? Johnny, please. Um, if uh, Disney's opening, can't we do game days? Johnny, hey, yeah. that's true. I, I all right, it's all right. back on. Game days, cool. there we go. No one there but Johnny and Rocco. The How yeah. dare you put that idea in people's heads, you <laughs> jerk? Uh, I love that. I mean, not to whatever, not to throw them under the bus. They've been wonderful to us. But that the hotel we do our game days event, it still cracks me up. They sent an email like, so, so you don't think you're gonna do it, right? Days. <laughs> no. Oh no. Um, I'm like, are they planning other events? Yeah. Well, uh, oh, hotel. Not. If you could tell me how to fit 700 people into one room in your hotel, <laughs> I'm all How's open to yours. Yeah, but anyway, I think that's going to happen. I'm, I've got it on good authority that's going to happen. All right. And I'm curious. Now, I will say, I've. Heard, I'm not. I'm not saying any of this in defense of, of it. So, I'm just providing things that I've heard. Okay. Is. Florida, there's been a lot of cases of it, but they stayed I've, open. I've heard, I've, I've, heard, I have heard that things have been dipping there, in that regard, mm. and that there hasn't been a lot of cases traced to the theme parks. Ha ha ha! That's ha. what I've heard. Well, isn't Disneyland the place where if you die in the park, they take you out before they pronounce yeah. you dead, so that technically nobody has ever died in the park? It hasn't happened to me, so I can't tell you. <laughs> I, yeah, that's yeah, oh, heard uh, that. Yeah. So a bunch of people who went to Disneyland got coronavirus, but we haven't traced it yeah, back we don't think to it's there. Disneyland. That's and or see, that's, any injuries or any deaths. Well, that's and that's what I thought when I read it. I just thought like there's a lot th there's a lot of data right now where I just I read a lot of different stuff of people going like, hey, you know, things are bad, but like this is kind of showing that like whatever they're doing to operate the parks is working. And I'm like, yeah, that's good, but I just feel like there's so many people involved that would love for you to think that. I, I don't that's know. What I'm saying they, yeah, listen Rocco, to they lost billions of dollars. Yeah. They're gonna oh, find yeah. some way to get people back in that park, safe or right. not. And people want it too, man. And yeah, there are lines and lines at. And Florida. I'm not even thinking, but I'm not even leaving it at Disney. Like Disney wants you to think that. The Florida government wants you to think that. Yeah, like, it's all of the above. <laughs> Everyone um, benefits because it's money. Well, because their 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 economy is so dependent on that. It's like, yeah, they want tourism. They want that. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. So, 
Yeah. They I didn't don't... trace any uh, cases back to Disney, but in those 55 cases, they didn't trace them back to anything at all. We don't know. We just don't know where they got it from. You know, I, I think about we, that we like it up. the IHOP and the Denny's and the fucking Mimi's Cafe and everything around yeah. the six blocks of Disneyland. In is, California. Yeah, in yeah. California here is all probably like super Ghost suffering. Town. Oh, I imagine. All the hotels, Be- everything. E- oh, man. But that's the thing is like all San the Diego got off. their hit with no Comic-Con. That's like that's a the, huge yeah. that's hit. our source of income for the year and it's huge. gone. Like it, everything is everything got fucked this year. So. Yeah. You know, again, but you had the twelve hundred dollars. So yeah, what, they have no reason I don't know to what. What, what, do, it, what do you want from me? I'm just thinking. I really am thinking though. When when will I? This is I. I don't. I'm honestly not. There's nothing that I feel like. Oh, I wish I was doing this right now. I just feel like you got to do what you got to do right now. I'm not. I'm not in any rush to go to a restaurant, go to a theme park, yeah. whatever. I'm fine. I'm still riding like, the wave. I'm writing off this year. Big whoop. I'll, you know, I'll survive, but I am thinking like, I'm honestly just thinking, could I get away with, I went there at the beginning of all this. You would, you that. did, you did. And you I, the last one I didn't come in contact with a soul during that thing. Yeah. And I, I was, didn't want to be in the same room with you for like a month. <laughs> I knew how to get Before around. anybody yeah. knew fucking Jack Shit! Oh, that about freaked coronavirus. you out. That's true. Rocco went to Disneyland. That, yeah, that's true. I just uh, rubbed elbows with everybody that, up that's there. True. Well, he because did. it was about to close, so I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna get this lightsaber thing. And I'll make a video about it. And then for weeks, I felt bad about it because I thought that was kind of dangerous, and I shouldn't. Have and I that. honestly was like, I don't want to be around Rocco. I can't. I can't be around Rocco right now. I, I really was so. I didn't touch shit. <laughs> I didn't talk to anybody. Wow. Well, but Jesus. me and Sean stopped coming. So, to the I thinking, <laughs> so I keep thinking, video like, proof. if I if I apply the skills that I used that night, could I go on my own? I would not go with a group, but could I go on my own? Not when it, it reopens back up. No. But I just God. feel like oh it's gonna be I so just, crowded. Well, no, they're no, they're cap. It. They're gonna cap it at like a quarter. How fun is Disneyland? You know, but just yeah. get through the turnstiles is gonna be a line of people. They're not. They're really not handling it any of it the way that you're picturing. Really, it's all online reservation. It's all. I saw everything. even those in Florida when they you opened. Know, wipe it, down it was... that tram every time you have to go. Mm-hmm. Sit on it, and how are you going to do that? And in Disney, how are you going to ride a ride? I'm not saying I'm going. I don't sure. really want to. Well, I'm not saying you are going either. But yeah. I'm just thinking, like, will I? Would I be able to do that if I wanted to? You know what I mean? Would you be know. able to? I think you would be able to. If if someone just goes on their own, I don't know. But I don't think you could avoid people because I saw those videos yeah. come out of Disney World when it opened. Yeah. And there were people within the six foot range, like yeah. at, at their downtown, you know, shopping district area, yeah. just like swarming places. Well, this is a question we are going to have to settle some other time because we, are we have time. come to the end of our show today. We have. It's five o'clock. It, it felt good doing this again. I'm enjoying. I enjoy the quarantine. Yeah, Johnny got to let off a lot. Well, of I steam. don't want to end yeah, it on right. Rocco's going to Disneyland. I don't that's think it. you're going. I'm not going. No, not I, even I don't open. think you're going. Disneyland may or may not open at the end of September, so we'll have to wait and see. People don't listen to full thoughts. I know I'm going to get so many things that are like, Dude, "Oh, I can't Rocco, you're going. don't listen to the Rocco. chat. They barely pay attention." You know to what they say, say to me anyways. in the comments? You know what they say about me? What? I have no idea because I don't read them. That's the trick. So fucking smart. That's the trick. High five again. We will be back on Sunday. Day for the regular show, uh, and we're not even yeah. talking about viruses and political stuff. We're gonna be talking about video games and cool stuff, anime, movies. We can talk more about Disneyland if you want. Sure. No, I'm good. I, I I bring it up enough. Wow, <laughs> you see what you did to our boy Chat? Are you happy? No, it's nothing. It has nothing to do with. The I chat. think it's Johnny's fault. Are you He's... happy? You misinterpreted Rocco's words. I, no, it has nothing to do with the chat. I just know that if I don't complete a thought as thoroughly as possible gotta be yeah no don't don't feel that way johnny it was um, we all know what you meant i just can't picture doing it beyond one per like one one person can (laughs) dart around but if you bring your family what are you doing there's no way all right can't do it (laughs) anyway gotta go johnny yeah end it end it for us oh uh all right everyone uh uh, forget what Rocco said. Uh, this is the MIB. Uh, uh, don't forget what? what Rocco said. We are the MIB. Wow. And it. What?